Yo, yo, yo. Wait, can I can I ask you a question? Yeah, sure. Uh, what's the best high school? Good morning, comments. It's Joe and Mikey, and we're so ready to hop into this news yet again. But first, I really want to know why it's so darn warm in February. Take it away, Tim. Hi, comments. Whoop whoop. It's Wednesday, and today I have your weather again. Today, there's a low of 23, and once again, a high in the 50s specifically 53. I need the weather to get cold again because I miss winter. Comments, although it's getting warmer out, doesn't mean it's the time for summer clothes. Remember to wear your jackets, drink warm drinks, and stay cozy. I don't want to be having all you guys getting sick and feeling terrible because that would be terrible. So all the news that I have for you today, comments, have a good day and back to you anchors. Thank you, Tim. I also miss winter. Like, I need to build a snowman ASAP. My favorite thing to do is build an igloo. I need to do that ASAP. But it definitely should not be this warm in February. Well, now, let's take it to BJ, who's got some info on dogs. Good morning, Central Crossing. Today is the National Dog Day, but not just any dog. It's National Golden Retriever Day. Dogs are good friends for humans and are therapeutic for the minds of distress, but Golden Retrievers are very special. A person named Kristen Scheuer realized the uniqueness of Golden Retrievers and wanted to celebrate a day for it to spread awareness. Christian Sawyer owned a Golden Retriever and created the day on his first birthday in 2012. They're friendly, intelligent, and brave, and also one of the smartest dog breeds and the third most popular breed in the United States of America. This National Day for Golden Retrievers is celebrated on this day every year. This is a special day for all you dog people out there, especially for the people that have Golden Retrievers waiting for you at home. I hope you guys have a nice and easy going day. Mikey and Joe, back to you. Thank you, BJ. Joe. Yep. What's your favorite type of dog? Mm, my favorite type of dog, I say my favorite dog is the one that protects the house. That's fair. I like Chowsers, Chow, Chow Chows, you know? I like Chows. They protect the house for sure. They big dogs, you know? Dogs aside, let's take a look at the clothes. If they want to make the world a better place, take a look at yourself and then make a change. As always, so much to get involved in. Do something. Come on, comments. One club to highlight. Next week, GSA is hosting a Valentine's Day party. They'll be passing out Valentine cards. Elementary school stop. Participants are encouraged to make slash buy their cards and boxes in advance, but supplies will be provided to make and decorate them during the meeting. Now that sounds like throwback fun. It does sound fun. Next, it's National Counselors Week, so be sure and say thank you when you see one of your counselors. Also going on this week is scheduling. One decision you'll need to make is your elective classes, but our business department offers quite a few fun and interesting classes. Let's take a look at programming fundamentals. Are you lost? No, that's the right number. What is? What are we doing today? Well, this is programming fundamentals. Mm. Your seat is right here. Go ahead and have a seat. I'm glad you have your Chromebook because we're also going to be learning how to utilize an iPad as well. This class is all about technology. We're going to be learning how to make an iMovie. We're going to be learning the Swift programming language mm. and the JavaScript programming language. That sounds You're amazing. exactly in the right place. That sounds amazing. That sounds and looks like some fun. Here's another one, and it's called Sales Incubator. Oh, hey there. I'm Miss Cole, and this is my room 252. I teach professional and technical sales and incubator. Come on over. 
with Incubator, think Shark Tank vibes. If you've got a product in mind and want to run your own business, come join Incubator. With professional and technical sales, if you want to make t-shirts and work in a business atmosphere, come take professional and technical sales. Those business classes sure do look like fun. Please start thinking about what courses you are going to be interested in. And then here's another scheduling idea. It is called Mosaic, and it is for people that can be described as this way. Independent slash original thinker. Intellectually curious, creative, or unique. Motivated by real-life learning experiences. Interested in the arts and creative expression. And committed to having a voice and making a difference. Complete a quick form by going to this link down here by the end of the day tomorrow. Then you can attend an informational meeting this Friday at the start of fifth period. And one more thing regarding scheduling. Sophomores, your applications to the Career Academy is due today. Those are due today. Ask your English teacher if you need any help. Next up, remember that today is also the last day for Key Club's annual carnation sale. Order carnations to send to somebody special in your life. Should have been told me about that. Moving on, coming up. This Thursday, our Amazing Diversity Club is hosting a multicultural night. There'll be food, games, performances, and much more. Definitely planning to come out tomorrow, 5 to 7. It'll be fun. You'll get to experience some different cultures. Plus, it's all free, and I've also heard some teachers are given extra credit. Now, let's hear it from I Know I Can. All right, and up next, we have our HBCU and HSI College Week. You might be wondering, what is an HBCU? So, an HBCU is a historically Black um, college and university. And then HSI is Hispanic Servant Institutions. Um, so, one college is specifically, um, anybody can go there, but it's specifically historically um, a Black school. And then Hispanic Servant Institutions are Hispanic are, um, historically Hispanic schools. Um, and so, we want to shed light on these institutions um, as well and allow you to come down and just get educated, but also being able to en en engage in our events. That sure was interesting. Thank you for helping us all find out about careers and colleges. We got the best news ever. Comet Olympics is coming, so take a look. This is an annual event, and part one takes place next Friday. Everyone comes out for this, and it's only $3 to participate or cheer everyone on in the stands. Tickets go on sale this Monday. We'll have more details over the next few days. For real, come out, support, do your thing. Make sure that y'all sign up and participate for the events that y'all want to do. I'm going to remind you that because you know you can participate. Sign up. That's all for us today. Peace. Peace and love. <laughs> <laughs>